Um, Mr. Wilson, I would like to start with you. Um, I, I agree with you that you know there's no one silver bullet to uh, to addressing the comp very complex problem of gun violence, and and it's it takes different forms in different parts of the country. Um, I do think there is room for some legislative aspects in in approaching this problem, and C21 is not just about a handgun freeze, right? There are provisions in the bill which address uh, tougher penalties for for a variety of firearms offenses. Uh, there's a, a, a considerable section of the bill that deals with emergency prohibition orders, the yellow flag, red flag. Um, you must have, across your lived experiences, come across situations where uh, there's been domestic violence in the home, where a firearm has been present. Do you have any comments on the part of C21, which is providing more legislative authority for, for someone to approach a judge, remain anonymous, and, and to get an emergency prohibition order to remove firearms from the home? Do you, do you think that legislative part of C21 has value? Do you have any comments to help inform our committee as we're studying those particular clauses? Absolutely. Um, I think we have a serious mental health crisis here happening in the country and especially in my communities, marginalized communities, it's, it's actually taboo uh, to, to speak on the subject. And I think in, in this particular case, I, I grew up in the areas I grew up in, I, I witnessed quite a bit of domestic violence in some cases where, where there were firearms involved. And my answer sort of st stays the same as far as I believed if this person had some type of intervention or, 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 or preventative measures, if we invested more in our mental health uh, programs and having more access to them, being uh, better to I, better able to identify when somebody is in crisis and responding to that, I think that would be more poignant as a, as a solution than, than, again, focusing on how we take the weapon away from a person because I know this from experience. You can take away the weapon, but the motive, if the motivation is still there, you know, a, a person who is motivated enough will find a way. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's, let's focus on the motivation. Mm -hmm. Do you, um, I guess more broadly speaking, are, are there any areas in tackling gun violence that you do see where legislative solutions could assist with the efforts that you're doing on the ground? Absolutely. Uh, a, a stronger focus on the illegal weapons that are circulating in our streets, uh, a, 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 f a focus on our borders and investing there along with um, investing in grassroots communities. So when we talk about this multifocal approach, we're, we are absolutely talking about investing in law enforcement, investing in grassroots, investing in our mental health service providers, investing in our education systems, uh, and, and working collectively. But again, as far as focusing on any, on any weapon, a person who's motivated enough will find a way.